Ailey Bauman has contacted me and asked, how do you draw knees? And uh, she's drawing um, a game ranger. So I'm going to assume he's got a kind of a bush hat, which is a bit like the um, Texas cowboy hat that we did very recently. Um, and so he's going to have kind of bush, you know, clothes on. Um, and I'll just draw him very, very quickly. And he's going to have a pair of shorts or otherwise um, we're not going to be able to see the knees. <laughs> That's the whole point of the thing. Now, the easy thing is just to draw stumps, you know, tree trunks for legs because it's just a cartoon and he's going to have socks and um, big chunky boots for game rangering with and there'll be something like that and then we need to put in a pair of knees well the simplest simplest thing is work out where the knees are and just put a little tiny little shadow underneath them and that is really all you need to do um, I'm going to draw just the shorts again let's draw this here okay so these are the shorts and the other way then you know the classic kind of way to do it is to put a little brackets there um, and then they will then go down to the socks and We can do the shoes there as well, like that. Put a little bit of shadow in there because that will show that the so the legs are coming out from underneath. And and I think once you talk game ranger as well, I think we're talking probably sunshine. I think we you know we kind of think of you know big games being in sunny climes. So um, you might then want also to put a bit of shade underneath the hat like that as well. There'll probably be some shade there. <laughs> but um, and then also he's going to have quite a bit of a bit of a shadow because the sun will be beating down from high above. Um, and again here you can put a little line under there. But I think if you kind of do the full semicircle, it's going to turn it into looking more like a puppet. But this is just. What this is is just a hint of the shadow under the knee. It, it isn't actually the knee because there's nothing really there to get hold of and draw. Now, if you're looking for something just slightly more realistic, then we'll put these um, shorts back in here like that. Um, and then if you can imagine, then you've got the, kind of the legs coming inside, but you've got kind of hips. The muscles are kind of packed on the outside there. Uh, these are going to probably be a bit longer than these now. here and then you've kind of got the knee area and then you've got the calves coming down sort of again sticking out slightly more on the outside so um, you can bring that line in down there and that in a bit there similar here and we can go around the knee and then this wants to go out a little bit and then down, out a little bit, curving, to, oh, gone too much there. <laughs> out a little bit, uh, it's talking and talking and drawing. Um, so then you're gonna have your socks there, so this one's gonna be a little bit, um, what's the word, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, this is kind of a little bit more realistic in a way, I'm not sure about the boots, <laughs> anyway. There's a roughy tufty game range of boots. Um, and again, I think all you really need to do is just a little kind of curve underneath there and not to get too bothered about it, I think. It's got very short shorts on. And then because this is slightly more realistic, then I think we need to get some curvature in the shading there. So you've got a kind of a curve line there. Um, you could add all sorts of shading and that's going to 
you know just make it more complicated um, so you could maybe just do something like that but then once you started doing that then you kind of feel you have to start doing all that and uh, and more shading uh, it, and and so it goes so it depends how simple you want it so i make those shots a bit bigger this time remember this is coming down quite straight and then this is coming in at an angle and then a little kind of curve for the knee which is going to curve out into the calf muscle and then so this is quite a chunky leg <laughs> And again, those will be the socks there. Um, you could, if you wanted to kind of do more of a U shape like that. And I'm just going to put that tiny bit of shading in there and say that that is really, really all you need. Any more than that, and you're going to start getting into all sorts of complicated shading things. Um, and the viewer is, is not obsessed by the knees. While you're drawing it, you are obsessed with how it looks. Do something simple. The viewer is not looking at the knees. They're looking at the face. That's where all their attention is drawn or wherever their hands are directing you. They're not looking at the knees. Make it simple. Make it easy on yourself. I hope that that is what you want and what you need.